How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Schools Out by Alice Cooper on guitar. This is an awesome classic rock song and we're going to learn some classic rock essentials in this lesson. I'm going to break down that main riff and how to play some power chords, basically just covering an electric guitar part through the entire song. So when you're done with this lesson, you'll have everything you need to go and play it right along with the original recording. But before we get into it, I really appreciate your support at the link below if you're interested in improving your guitar playing. I've got a ton of great resources on my website, johnmcclennan.com, as well as some free training and some downloads that you can get at the first link down below that are not on YouTube. YouTube. These are some exclusive videos that come with tabs and sheet music. So if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're really going to want to check this out. All right, well, with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Schools Out as recorded by Alice Cooper on guitar. Now we're going to start off with this riff that's based out of your E minor pentatonic or rock scale up here in 12th position. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So for this riff, I'm bringing my thumb over the top of the neck and playing the sixth string on the 12th fret. I'm playing that note twice, and you can use your index finger if that's easier for you, but I use my thumb here. And then we're gonna go to what's called a triple stop. And this is just a total classic rock kind of guitar part. You hear these things all the time like, you know, in rock guitar, and, and what it is, is the 14th fret with my third finger just laid flat, barring three strings, barring the fourth, the third, and the second strings. So. Then after that, we'll move to the 12th fret, and we'll be playing this sixth string 12th fret in between, so. So there it's bass note, triple stop, bass note, triple stop on the 12th fret, then bass note, back up to 14, and then we'll just go to the, the, a single note on the 12th fret of the third string, and then 14th fret on the fourth string. So. And I'm adding some vibrato on that 12th fret. Now, the original recording sounds like one guitar is doing this, and then, and then another guitar is doing that, but it sounds like an edit, um, or it's just two guitars, and so it's a little tough to play and get that smooth. So I just play the bass note to kind of combine both of those parts into one. Then we just get rid of this note when the verse comes in. So once, once the vocal comes in, it just goes. Then we go to this next section that goes. And this is just quarter notes on power chords here. We're gonna play a C power chord on the third fret of the fifth string. And I'm just using a two note power chord here. You can do a three if you want. Whichever one is totally cool. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and, and we anticipate this next chord, which is E flat, which is the same shape, just up at the sixth fret. We're gonna go and walk into it from the fifth fret. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we hit the chorus. So 
So this is a four bar uh, chord progression here for the chorus. We're gonna play a G5. And here, because the chorus is like really strong, like schools, out for, I hit these with three note power chords. So I go three, five, five is my shape there. And we're gonna play the third fret, one, two, three, four, then up to the sixth fret, and then the eighth fret. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, And that's the basic chorus chord progression. It goes four times. School, Now in this spot where we're just staying on this G, there's like these ripping leads that are like, you know, doing these high high solos parts. Um, but you can do you could do that, or I would probably just do this. And do like a little palm muting. So I'm, I'm playing the chord, then palm mute the bass note, and then the chord again. So. And it's like one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a. It's my rhythm there. So one, two, three, four, and a After four times of doing that, then we hit an A5, which is the same as G, just up two frets. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, then down to an F. And so that's the same shape, right? It's a power chord, just moving it around the neck. This is an essential rock technique, it's being able to move power chords. Two, three, four, one, two, then we go. And this is the no more pencils part. And this is just a single note melody here. We're gonna play the third fret, or the third string rather, on the 12th fret. So 12, 11, 9, 11, and we'll just use those notes. And that's basically all the sections until the very end. Then we go. This is the school's out for, this is the last chorus. Here we go, G, two, three, four, two, three, four, C. And that's how it ends. So it's just, it ends with that G power chord to F power chord and then C power chord. Have fun practicing Schools Out by Alice Cooper on guitar. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, don't forget to get access to my free training at the first link down below that's gonna have some exclusive lessons that are not on YouTube. Again, these come with tabs and sheet music, and they're really gonna help take your guitar playing to the next level. As always, leave any song requests you'd like to see here on the channel down below in the comments. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.